Hey, what's going on, guys? I wanted to bring you some happy news. With all this negativity going around, you might feel great knowing this little takeaway from today's uh, news briefing. As of today, we will have Papa and Mama. Putin says no to gay marriage in Russia. That's right. You can no longer get married to the same type of sexual orientation as yourself. For instance, why would you want to do that anyways? You could just, you know, do things to yourself if you really wanted to do that. Instead, build a puzzle board where pieces fit together, if you get what I'm saying. So, we will have a papa and mama. Putin says no more, no, no to gay marriage in Russia, President Putin said. The definition of marriage as a union of a man and a woman should be added to the Russian constitution. That is right. Amen, man. Amen. I've always thought this guy was like, I don't know, demonic or something. But this, this is amazing. President Vladimir Putin meets with working group on proposals for amendments to Russian constitution at a Novo uh, Agario Yovo state residence, Moscow, Russia, February 13th, 2020. So he's, and this has already been going on. So Russia, February 17th, 2020, Russian uh, President Vladimir Putin said that the traditional definition of marriage as being between a man and a woman should be added to the Russian constitution, adding that under his leadership, Russia would not adopt terms such parent number one and parent number two. That is so stupid that people would do that. Um, <laughs> what that That's the reason why we got this coronavirus, this type of stuff going on. Um, you know, people just, you know, doing whatever they want, creating their own lifestyles, their own, they are, they're, they're creating their own gods. Instead of just following, like, the rule of God that was sent here for us in the beginning, now we got all these people making up their own things and, and, and saying that it's okay to our children and uh and our children are growing up thinking that it's okay i don't need to listen to my parents and i don't need to listen to their to their um bible things or whatever they're just gonna do their own thing this is the reason why we're so divided because you got people making their own decisions and telling others and enforcing their decisions on others that it, even though it's wrong and it's so stupid Putin made the comments last Thursday at a meeting to discuss Russian constitutional reform during a discussion on family values in Russia. Conservative lawmakers Olga Badalina said that some people would like the word family to be defined in the constitution as a union of a man and a woman. That's right. Amen. We need to clarify some things. A marriage is a union of a man and a woman, Putin responded. A family is a different thing, but the idea is right and it should be supported. We need to only think about how to formulate it and where. Badalina also claimed that the family is under attack from attempts to introduce new terms like parent number one and parent number two. This is not fantasy. This is reality in some countries, she said. Putin responded, as for parent number one and parent number two, I have already publicly said it, and I will repeat it once more. As long as I am president, we will not have parents one and two. We will have papa and mama. Last year, France passed a law requiring that schools replace the word mother and father, uh, and this is in France, uh, in their documents with parent one and parent two. In Italy, uh, in 2018, then the deputy prime minister, Matteo Salvini, uh, ordered that the words parent one and parent two be deleted from online government forms and replaced with mother and father. I mean, this is the reason why, again, Italy is the epicenter for the coronavirus currently right now, as deemed by the World Health Organization. This would probably be one of the reasons why. I mean, you're allowing this type of stuff to go on in your countries and in your societies. It's it's been going on too long, and, and it should stop. It's People weren't doing this stuff, getting married, you know, as gays or homosexuals or whatever, you know, two, three hundred, four hundred years ago. They weren't doing this stuff. Um, so now all of a sudden people decide that it's 
okay to be, uh, you know, gender dysphoria is what it's called. Um, it's a real mental disorder. You can look it up on Google. In 2013, Putin signed a bill to outlaw the promotion of homosexual and same-sex marriage and gay pride parades throughout the Russian Federation. The law imposes stiff fines or prison terms for spreading propaganda of non-traditional sexual relations. Yes, yes, that's what I'm talking about. You can get prison times. Uh, prison time for spreading propaganda of non-traditional sexual relations. So by another gay person coming out and saying it's okay to be gay, they can actually be sent to prison for saying that. Man, <laughs> man, Russia is like, <laughs> is becoming very, looking very nice right now. Um, he also supported measures to stop same-sex couples married overseas from adopting children in Russia. So if you're gay and you're like probably in California or something like that, where most of them are, um, you cannot adopt someone in a kid in Russia because that's not allowed. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. Um, other than that, just wanted to bring you that little uh, that little positive uh, positive vibe there. Uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, the Last Viking TV is out. Have a great night, everybody. Have a great night.